Hi, good evening. Earlier Friday, JSO received information from School Board Police that they are anticipating a large fight. They had information there's going to be a large fight at the First Coast High School football game. At that point, we coordinated efforts with Chief Burton and his staff, and we deployed additional resources up here as well as he did. So we had quite a few resources between the two departments up here to address any incidents that came up. At approximately 8.56, two of our officers were actually on a traffic stop. And in that traffic stop, they had two individuals that they were taken into custody. Both were in illegal possession of firearms. One of those firearms had to be converted to be fully automatic. While they were taking those guys and processing the arrest, the game let out. So a large crowd started coming out into the parking lot. At that point, a large fight did start to break out. So the officers that were able to broke away to go to address that. And as they were running up, a few of them had their tasers out to start to break the fight up. The suspect tonight was in that crowd and started shooting his firearm. He was shooting it through the crowd and everything. So the officers were able to gather his attention, yelling to him to stop, drop the gun. They engaged in a foot pursuit with him. They chased him through the parking lot where they engaged him toward the end of the parking lot and into the wooded area. The officers fired multiple times. The suspect was able to get through the woods and he hopped the fence. He got across the street and was taken into custody at a neighboring business on the sidewalk by another officer. He uh, was detained. They got him handcuffed. He was hit two times, once in the like the lower extremity, and one of them grazed his head. When they were, uh, after they had him in cuffs and everything, they were patting him down. He still had the fire on him. He had shoved it down his pants. Um, we're not releasing his information at this time. And our officers, both of them have been with the department about six years. This is their first officer involved incident, and this is the 10th for JSO this year. Um, school board is on board with us. They're, we're going to be out here most of the night, so we're going to be out here quite a while to have the school locked down. Um, the state attorney's office is on scene, and they're conducting their independent investigation. So with that, we can take any questions you guys may have. What condition is that suspect in? He just had a graze to the head, and he was hit in the lower extremity, so he's still at a local hospital now. Um, that suspect is in the I don't have that information. He was a juvenile. Was there one, you said there was two suspects or one suspect? The two suspects in the, tra in the traffic stop yeah. were unrelated to this guy. They were actually on school property in the, in the one entrance where they stopped the car. They both, like I said, had firearms as well. One of them had been converted. So they were there arresting them for their offenses for illegal possession. This guy, totally unrelated from what we know so far, he comes out in the crowd from the game and just starts shooting his gun. So they went and dealt with that. Okay, so the shooter so, was at the game. So, well, I don't know if he was at the game. He came in the crowd. But he was in the crowd. So, correct. When he started firing. And the crowd came from that direction. So I don't know if he was ever in the game or not. A lot of people were saying that there were a, a ton of fights in general, um, like throughout the game. Are you aware of uh, things in the middle of it before and then after too? Or was it only after? Chief might be able to address that. I know there were some incidents, and I think that's why the game was cut out. I can answer that. Uh, Greg Burton, G-R-E-G, B-U-R-T-O-N, Chief of School Police. There were some fights um, in the game around the third quarter. The principals got together and decided to end the game during the third, third quarter because there were several fights that were breaking out. So in order to um, uh, dispel that violence that was going on, the game was determined to be over at that time. And that's when everyone started walking out. And then more fights, shots. Right. 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 There was, we also had heard from a few different people that there were some people at the game and in the crowd like throwing up gang yeah. signs, things like that. Is there any reason to believe any of what was going on is gang related? I, I don't have any of that information this time. Nothing we can confirm this time, no. I mean, it's all still an active investigation, but nothing we can confirm this time. Uh, we've had several shootings over the past few days in Jacksonville, obviously separate areas of town. Can you say whether or not any of this is connected? We have no idea at this point. We're still working through it. It's early in the investigation. There's nothing to indicate it's related. There was some information that uh, I guess this was a, a family dispute of some kind, but we're still looking into that to verify that. He was supposedly, the suspect in this incident was supposedly upset with a blood cousin, but we don't know if we haven't verified any of that yet. But thank nothing you, to connect any of that. Thank you, uh, Chief. Quick right, question you. for, yep. uh, for uh, you, Chief. Uh, yes. Safe protocols as far as football games here, first goes high school. Are, are there any bag checks, weapon checks, anything for people going into the game? Yes. Um, what, are the, what are the protocols? We do have protocols in place. Actually, we had our 
new weapons detection system that was here, the Evolve system, so we're pretty sure um, that no weapons got into uh, the game, into the bowl, so we do bag searches, we do wand searches, as I said, we had our Evolve system out, we also had our K9 detection dog out and our drug dog out as well. So we take other precautions that I won't speak about because they are confidential. And so people inside the bowl and outside the bowl that are officers um, that are um, doing several things. Chief, I just have one more question for you. There are a lot of parents who were talking online thinking like, hey, we can't even send the kids to the football games now. You know, so what's your message to parents who are concerned about just something like this happening at high school related events? Well, my message to the parents would be, we are doing everything possible in order to make sure your students are safe at our uh, sporting events. We received the word earlier today, as uh, Chief Parker said, and we took immediate action. We always have an operational plan for security. We did beef up this operational plan because of the word, the uh, information that we received and um, working with JSO, they're great partners with us. Um, we were able to beef up security quite a bit to prevent something that could have been uh, even greater tragedy than what may have occurred today. Will you Thank you, sir.